2011, The Intentist published a book entitled The Search for Intentist Art. This was a collection of interviews with Intentist artists that discussed the role of intention in their work. Craig Patrick Evans is an artist and photographer. To the question, could you tell us a little about what role intention plays in your art generally, Craig said this. Intention is a key element within my work. For me, good work communicates its message to the viewer quickly and succinctly. However, it is a well-trodden assumption that the viewer may not share the same experiences or cultural knowledge as the artist to be able to do that. I think that many artists seem to believe the viewer is almost incapable of taking the time to really think about what is happening in a work. As a viewer myself, I like nothing more than spending a lot of time thinking through an image. I suspect this interest probably comes from my first degree, which was in English. Perhaps this is why I'm drawn to narrative work and take great pleasure in thinking through that narrative and what the artist intends to say to us through it, such as in the work of Ged Quinn and Gregory Cusden. Now, Jacques Derrida, of course, would say that to uncover some sort of inner meaning in a work is impossible, that you can never break something down to an inner core. One of the things I'm interested in exploring is his notion of difference, that something only gains meaning depending upon its context. To the question, how important is it to you that interpreters of your artwork consider your intentions? Craig said this. People are entitled to their opinion of your work. It's always very interesting when someone interprets your work differently to how you intended. I don't think you can entirely dismiss that, since you're always creating work for a viewer. You're always creating something to be seen and interpreted. So to gain an insight on how people do perceive your work is really important. For me, all art is communication, and you're trying to communicate a message, an opinion, which I suppose is an intention. So you would hope that for your work to be successful, the viewer should understand that you are trying to communicate to them, or at least what issues you are exploring. I believe that all viewers are entitled to an opinion, but that they can misinterpret work. However, if this is happening, then the artist needs to think about how they are communicating their message, as perhaps it isn't clear enough in the work. So, yes, viewers should always consider intention. Finally, to the question, let's focus in on one of your artworks in particular. Could you share some of your thoughts behind this work? The Keeper of the Estate, 2009, is a triptych showing a man in various stages of dress, from country gamekeeper through to urban chav. I want the viewer to think about how their interpretation of the man changes as they move their eyes over each image and then when viewing the triptych as a totality. I would like them to think about the apparent naturalness of their relationship between the urban and rural. I think the absurdity of a country gamekeeper in a council estate reveals the arbitrary relationship between the two concepts, as does the pun of the title. Previously, I presented work with a larger series of images, with each image hung separately and viewed methodically one after another. For this work, I wanted to think about how I might show the creative trail and how I might get my message about the arbitrary relationship between the urban and the rural across as one work, hence the use of a triptych. One of the things that triggered this was hearing about the intentist use of palimpsestism. Now, I'm not sure that this work really does show the process of its production, but I think it certainly hints at how I play with different ideas and visual strategies when developing work. However, I think my more recent image, The Gamekeeper 2010, in collaboration with the highly talented Rod Walls, shows clearly the process behind making the work through the use of multiple exposures. My intention behind both works is essentially the same, to show how mythical constructs such as the urban and the rural influence our perception of identity, class and nationality. However, I have been trying to find the most appropriate method of communicating that message. You can read the rest of this interview and many others in the book, The Search for Intentist Art. You can purchase it from Amazon or from the website intentism.com. Want to find out more? Subscribe to our Intentism YouTube channel and check out our website at www.intentism.com. See you there.